You're the chief. Yeah. Very I just cool. want to make sure things are good here. That's what we're doing. We're trying to make sure things are good here too. How's it going, guys? I'm against it. Press. And we are coming to you today from Blanding, Utah. And we are at the U.S. Post Office here in Blanding. And uh, we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and make sure that they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. And uh, let me just give you a little view of the neighborhood here in Blanding. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, February 10th. It is 12.08 in the afternoon. And it is 45 degrees, sunny, and a little bit windy here in Blanding, Utah. She took pictures of that truck and the license plates. Yeah, <laughs> wow. I always like to take a moment also to recognize Old Glory waving in the breeze, as she should. It's almost like she perked up and gave us a little wave. P-O-W-M-I-A, not forgotten, never forget. What's she doing, taking video of us? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's of Utah Y five seven one GC. Yeah. No front plate, yeah, I saw that. Thought I was back in Arizona for a second. So yeah, I just always like to uh, document anybody that interacts with us in case they go tell some tall tales somewhere. I know who, uh, who they were. Or can uh, give that information to whoever I need to give it to. Back there. 
just another way into the parking lot? Yeah, and this is, uh, you know, mail drop off there, so it's absolutely accessible. There's no, no restricted signs. There's a one-way sign here. It doesn't say employees only. So you can definitely go back there. It's a public parking lot. The uh, truck says San Juan County Seniors. <laughs> he sticks his head out. He goes, "Are you guys vloggers?" <laughs> it's uh, probably not the smartest thing to do to ask somebody a question. Well, if you ex if you expect an answer to ask somebody a question while you're driving by 25 miles an hour. What happened? He was standing there, I saw him, and then he looked at me and just like ran around the corner. Oh, he keeps staring at us acting weird. Yeah, I'm not even paying attention to him. I don't even know what he's doing. And again, guys, uh, even here in Little Blanding, Utah, uh, I just always like to point out how uh, how many people go in and out and have zero concerns, zero issues, and uh, nothing to say. Just uh, always like to highlight that. I guess the uh, lady in this SUV here must normally leave her baby in the car when she goes places and uh, saw two strange men outside with cameras and decided to take him in today. Not that I blame her for taking him in, but uh, I could tell you this, when Watchman was a kid, I don't care how inconvenient it was when he was a baby, he went in everywhere with me. I didn't leave him by himself in the truck, car, whatever for a minute. AC, no AC, heat, beautiful temperatures, whatever. Don't leave your kids alone in a car for even a second. It's not worth it. Inconvenience yourself. Carry them. Make other arrangements. Bring a stroller. Do what you got to do. Wait until green shirt guy sees me go in to get my stamp. I have my stamp money ready. It's actually become a pretty cool thing, um, and I'm sorry we didn't think of it from the beginning, from the first post office we went to, uh, but 
lately and going forward, we're going into every post office we visit, buying a stamp and keeping the stamp in the receipt, throwing it in the uh, scrapbook. So I think that's pretty cool. Good to hear you, sorry. Oh, sorry. We just had a couple of calls, you know, people are just worried about the cameras and just, it's just something we don't get. Can I ask what your name badge number is so I know yeah. I'm speaking to? My name is JJ Bradford, badge number is 3Z1. Just thought we'd just check on you. 3Z1, sure. thank you, appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Cool. Just thought we'd just... Well, the, sure. uh, oh, you're the chief. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Come by and say hi to you. And I guess a little, little bland for the chief, uh, blanding, I'm Blanding. sorry, the chief comes out if, uh, if you're available. Yeah. Cool. So, so yeah, we very just cool. want to make sure things are good here. And, that's what we're doing. We're trying to make sure things are good here too. Good enough. Then. Yeah. So, our, uh, how's life in, Bl in uh, Blanding? I Blanding. gotta keep looking. I do a lot of traveling. I don't right. even know what state I'm in half the time. No, Blanding's pretty good. It's, it seems like it. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, we're pretty quiet. We do have issues occasionally, but like any town does. So. Right, right. Yeah, but we're good. So. Well, how long have you been uh, chief? Uh, two years. Two years? Yeah. And how long were you on the force before that? I've got 20 years in total now. 20 years. Good yeah. for you. Are you uh, originally from Blanding? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yep. I, I always appreciate having a local guy be in charge of what's uh, mm -hmm. what's happening with law enforcement yeah, in the area. Get a local perspective and know what the local people want. And right. right. Flip side know. of that is, you know, everybody that's not from here, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can spot everybody yeah. a mile away. For sure, so. Yeah. That's cool. All right. So I got to ask: Did the uh, was it customers that called you? Was it the post office? Both. Um, the post office is the one that called us. They, they had customers call on and telling us about it. I got you. So. Okay. They just wanted to make sure that you guys were good. And so good as far as you're concerned, no issues? I don't see any problems. I mean, there's no problem filming, and that's, I mean, that's just, you have the right to film. Cool. I have no problem with it. So. All right. And what we do is I stay outside for a little while, uh -huh. try to get, you know, I always got to get old glory in the video. Right. and. Just try to get you know some b-roll footage of people going in and out love it when there's like a post office vehicle that goes yeah. in and out we get that um but eventually at some point we do go inside i buy a stamp uh -huh. that kind of thing so that's our intention Perfect. so i don't know what the uh postal employee is uh what his perspective is on that but no, I, I think it just made a couple people a little bit nervous because this is something we don't get okay so which is good right and they're just looking out for the locals make sure this day and age you just never know what's gonna very cool. Happens, so. And I always say, especially the chief, I always like to say that law enforcement, even the employees at a public facility, mm -hmm. have a very, they're in a very unique position. You're in a very unique yeah. position um, because the general public kind of looks to you for guidance on how to behave and what right. to approve of and what not to approve sure. of. So when you guys show up, and I'm just saying that in general across the country, wherever I may be, mm -hmm. um, the people that called inside the post office or the customers or whoever are looking for your reaction. Mm -hmm. So then if you go inside, tell them, no, these guys are fine. They have their right to be here. Yep. Everything's fine. It That's generally fine. smooths yeah. out and ends that way. Yep. If I have an officer that shows up, says, no, they don't want you here. You guys get, then everybody just gets up in an uproar. You have mayhem. And then, uh -huh. You know how it is. Once you escalate things, it's very hard to bring them back down. Yes, it is. So it's very important to keep things. Yeah. And I can tell you're that kind of guy by your yeah, soft-spoken demeanor. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get anywhere by coming in shouting and demanding stuff. You know, no. Very cool. What's going on. So. Yeah. No, I agree with you. Yep. Yeah. All right. Very well, cool. I'll just go let them know that things are good here. Well, I might as well buy my stamp at the same time, and we'll go in whatever, and. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You all right. Do, cool. So. Very cool. Do you have a card on you by any chance? I don't have any cards. I'm all out. I can give you. I can write on a piece of paper. You know what it is? We do like I go in and buy a stamp and I keep the receipt and the stamp is kind of like a memento of my trip. So I, usually if I speak to a chief or a yeah. higher up, I always try to get a business I, I card. cards on the way. I just, I'm all run out and gotcha. I didn't get them all. Everybody right. knows you anyway. So around here, most people do. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So, That's cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we'll go in and yeah. uh, educate these folks and let them know there's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Right? Very cool.
I need to get uh, back. Oh, yeah, and you know what? <laughs> you want to do me a huge favor while we walk in there? Can I, can I pop my friend here on your seat because I can't take it into federal property? Oh, uh, yeah. That's All right, cool. Me. Very cool. I'm glad uh, my son here just reminded me. Yeah. <laughs> I would have walked in with the chief of police violating federal law. That would have been interesting. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I don't even have to take it out of the holster. It's right. It's all holstered up. Yeah, no, Appreciate that. Very cool. So where are you guys from? Colorado. Okay. Yeah. And I got to say, it's wonderful to meet a guy like you. And we, uh, yeah. you know, because we're, we're fully aware of the... Uh, divide between law yeah. enforcement and the citizenry in this country right and one of the main goals of what we do is to try to close that gap uh -huh. just through simple dialogue and conversation i think uh, i'm one of those people that thinks if you're talking about it you're doing something about it mm -hmm. so there we go after you watchman Hi. Hello. hello hey scott not much these guys are good they're just Okay. I just uh, some customers were complaining didn't want to get out of the car, so I figured I better call and find out what yeah. the heck's going on. No, they're good. They're just. Okay. And it's important, you know what? Because we don't want to put anybody in fear okay. or make anybody apprehensive or anxious. Um, so it's very important. I was just talking to the chief about how important it is your position as a public employee. Yeah. People look to you for guidance, and right. they kind of gauge what they do based on your behavior. So if you start yelling at a couple of guys with cameras, they're going to start trying to get your back and yell at us, which you didn't. I'm no, just. I, I, we've been told don't don't confront people if anyone's filming. So. I, we've been told don't don't confront people if anyone's filming. So. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to confront anybody. Very good. No, but just beyond that, you you hold the power to either excite everybody or keep everybody calm. So I do, maybe we're here today to remind you of that and just you know wield that power uh, <laughs> judiciously. You know, no, you really do. You're in a unique position. Are you the postmaster here? Yeah. You are cool. Well, very good to meet you. Nice to meet you. We appreciate you. I'm glad we got the chief here and the postmaster here. So case settled, yeah, right? Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Well, we. And I'm sorry. Your name was Scott. Scott Middleton. Yeah. Scott Middleton. Thank you, Scott. You've been very professional. We appreciate you. No issues with you calling the police. You're just being diligent, and we appreciate that. I, I don't. You know, I've seen other people film before. I normally wouldn't say anything, but I had a couple customers. They're like, "Hey, what are those guys doing?" And one lady didn't want to get out of her car, so I was like, "I better call them." Just make sure everything's on the up and up. Gotcha. And nothing wrong with that. All right, buddy. Thank, Thank you very much. You. And while I'm here, I'm going to buy a stamp. Chief, yeah. pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. We appreciate you. Uh, Thank you very much. To you just need one? Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, do you have two seconds so I can buy a stamp and then we'll be right out? Yeah, just one stamp, sir. Thank you. Need something for the uh, scrapbook, you know? And I'll take the receipt, too, because I put it with it, please. Out of I'll tell you what, this is... Uh, been a uh, branding's been an excellent stop. We appreciate you, gentlemen. You know, it really makes a difference how the powers that be run their yeah. run their town. City, is it a city or a town? City. city. There's four, 45, and let me print your seat. Thank you, Scott. And again, we really appreciate you. Can't tell you enough. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Stay safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, we'll see you, Scott. After you, sir. Thank you. Well, you made your uh, city here look wonderful. Yeah. One of the few times, maybe. <laughs> no, no, nothing wrong. No, you know what? Based on your uh, attitude and your demeanor here today, I doubt it's one of the few times you've made your city look good. Yeah, well, we. I'm we sure you've to, done it once or twice before. We try to make people. Thank you. Feel more good and, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, well, that's great. That's, you know, and that's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure, you know, you guys are a uh, pass through town here. Yeah, we get a lot of traffic that we do. Stuff they've talked about right right yeah we were just in bluff okay yeah so i mean you live in a beautiful part of the country yeah, wait till it greens up just a little bit it doesn't get too much greener but yeah a little bit right stuff, so. yeah and then you get the contrast with the red dirt and everything yeah. it's beautiful yeah, yeah. Perfect, so. well and you know what i'm going to do which i don't always do do you want to write it down because it's uh yeah, it it's a long name but i'll give you my uh information okay. sure. so you know uh where the video can be seen It's actually an old Indian word. It's the name of the village that I'm originally from in New York. Oh, really? Yeah, it means place of good water. I like that. Yeah. So it's uh, Amagansett Press. It's A M A. A M A. G A N S E W T. Second word press. Okay. And then my son's is watching the watchman. Watching the watchman. Easy. I like that. Yeah.
And I really can't thank you enough. You have no idea how important it is for, uh, you know, I, I, I always like to say, I'll, and I'll ask you the question, what's a good police officer's worst enemy? Bad press. A, my, a, mean, a bad, bad cop. Well, yeah, you're right, but that generates a lot of bad press. <laughs> right. And I'm assuming, be, you being the chief, I'm hoping that there's, you probably don't have any bad cops here. I don't know how big your force is. We have five total, including myself. Okay. Landing, and then we've got San Juan County that's got um, two crews of, well, they just changed because they incorporated with Monticello City, so they not incorporated, but Mon Sheriff's Office um, took over the law enforcement stuff for the city of Monticello. Okay, so. gotcha. So Monticello used to have a PD? Yeah, they they were at four years ago, then they went down to three, and then they were down to two. And gotcha. They're just, they're just not paying enough. Not paying enough, and yeah. just sometimes being a cop in small town, it's tough. It is, I'm sure, yeah. So. Yeah, you would, you know, from an outsider's point of view, you say, oh, this is great. We have, probably have nothing to do. You can drink beer at lunchtime, but I know it's not that way. We beer in town here. Really? Yep. Oh, is it really? We're a dry town. Dry town, gotcha. We have a lot of alcohol, so. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Okay. Yeah. So watching the Watchmen, is that M-A-N yeah. or M-E-N? M-E-N. M-E-N. Right. Yeah. Now it's warming up again out here. Yeah. Got to put my hood on. Just wait five minutes and it'll change again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you don't like the weather, cross the street, right? Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Go right on. But no, it's fantastic. And I don't, do you ever travel outside of Blanding to like law enforcement conventions and that kind of thing? And um, Before COVID, yeah. You know, we hit some mm. of the, the training conventions in Vegas and Salt Lake. And Hopefully that'll come back. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason I ask you that is to say just, you know, have the talk with your fellow officers about the, my, the thing I really try to push is because we really want that. We believe in good policing. Right. And I know there's a lot of wonderful police officers in this country. Yep. There's also a lot of guys, not so much. I, I would have to agree. And another unique position that you're in is to be able to police those guys and not just as the yep. chief, just regular officers. And I always say I'm not asking anybody to blow up anybody's life. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody wants to destroy somebody's career. Exactly. But if there's anybody that's not doing the right thing, they need to be taken in a locker room and spoken to and straightened out and get this thing to stop so it doesn't, you know, because it just, it's not doing you any favors. No, it makes my life miserable. Right. And same thing for us. It makes yeah. the citizens' lives miserable. Exactly. You know, there's some guys out there that are brutal. Yeah. I mean, really, yeah. Yeah, really bad. So, yeah, you know. I think we're pretty fortunate around here. We've got a lot of good level-headed guys and things are good. So. Well, it starts at the top and it seems like uh, that's the way it goes. Yeah, I hope we can keep it that way. Yeah. Well, I can't thank you enough. We really appreciate you. Thank you for by and be willing to explain what you do. I like it. So. Very cool. And uh, we're gonna. I'll probably put this up tomorrow. So keep an eye out for it. Just go to YouTube. If you go to YouTube, and type in A M A G. I'll be the first thing that pops up. All right. All right, buddy. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you care. so much. You have a wonderful day. You too. Appreciate Thank you. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alrighty. Have Take care. Day. Well, all right, guys. Um, what can you ask for better than that? Uh, Chief of Police. Postmaster went in, straightened him out, let him know everything was okay. Um, this is, uh, you know, this is this is actually a perfect audit. Um, I think this was spectacular. You had some uh, customers out there that were getting a little squirrely, uh, didn't want to get out of their cars. Evidently, I didn't know about that. Um, called up the police department, um, had the chief come out. You saw what happened, and 100% uh, pass for both. The uh, Blanding Post Office and the Blanding Police Department. I mean, absolutely spectacular. Um, this is the way it should be. And uh, we thank all these folks involved here very much. And I hope the uh, citizens that were concerned wind up having an opportunity to see the video and find out what we were doing here. And, uh, you know, learn a little something about the way it goes too. And I'm glad you guys were here and you were able to come along for the journey. Um, which leads me to, if you like these videos, you enjoy what we do and you want to support what we do, absolutely best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people uh, so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something from them. Um, I know I'm out here learning something new every day, and uh, this is wonderful. Uh, couldn't think of any better way to spend my time with my son. Um, and uh, traveling this beautiful country. Um, it's fantastic. And I hope you guys are having just a good a time watching and coming along with us for the ride. Um, but that's it. So we're gonna hop back in the truck, head down the road and see what else we could find for you. Um, so for now, coming to you from the United States Post Office in Blanding, Utah, watching a watchman, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.